Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Turn all this on to the Grand Campaign. Captain Shack leading the New Republic. Let's see where we left off. So we managed to capture Coruscant. We were building up a massive ground army, and we were capturing, we were kind of back capturing some of the worlds that we had blockaded from the Empire. Now, I'm not quite sure if I want to come back here and capture these, but from what you guys are telling me in the comments, I've got to watch out for, well, Thrawn, for one thing, and his, his just crazy OP ships, or he gets some massive ships. I'm not quite sure what to expect, but it sounds a little ridiculous. Uh, those are ground forces and should not be mixed in. We should probably move much of this ground army out. We'll leave a little bit for defense, taking the command vehicle with us. Uh, yeah, now the question is, where do we go from here? If we Oh, that's right. Now I remember what we were going to do. We were going to take out the planet between uh, Abyss and Coruscant, uh, Pakrick Minor. If we take this, I no longer have to have this fleet to the south defending. But I believe this was pretty heavily defended. We do have a massive fighter wing that's, that's approaching, so let's go Star ahead and organize this. We've got some brand new ships that are being produced at our major production facilities. We've got these new, uh, what, what are these things? Yeah, endurance class capital ships. New class fleet carrier with well-rounded defenses delivers two wings of fighters into the fray. The endurance represents a subtle new Republic strategy, emphasis on fighter superiority rather than brute force. So that's pretty legit. I mean, we've also got these nebula star destroyers, which I'm really excited to see. We've got another Corvette class as well. Hmm. Let's Unit order up one of those because we've never seen them before. And the same thing over at the shipyards. I mean, we have them. We might as well be using them. But let's make sure that I'm putting the order for it. There it is. Uh, yeah, we do have new Star Destroyers building. Let's build a couple of these Corvettes. Uh, and we're looking good. We'll just let those build up. Yeah, we don't have any of them built yet. I was going to reinforce one of our other fleets, but... It Star looks like it's time. Agreement. Yavin 4 is under attack. Maybe we'll send some of our new Star Destroyers out to Yavin 4 to help secure this. Who are you? New Republic Garrison on Yavin 4. Kalahal is a Mon Calamari Jedi Master. She has immense skills in healing arts and a former Senator. Oh, very cool. I've got some new heroes as well, so that's cool. I mean, we're in a new era, so let's go ahead and... What kind of defenses do we have in orbit of this? Two Golan platforms. Uh, Auto-resolve that. No losses. Enemy and then let's bring in some forward. reinforcements. I almost pulled these E-wings off. Imminent. Okay, this fleet we may actually have to stop. Uh, multiple Star Destroyers? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to direct command this. We do have an Ion Cannon on site. I don't trust the auto-resolve. Republic at War, I think, is what ruined me with using the auto-resolve. Uh, too often because it was so broken it the game didn't know how to like see a fleet and realize how strong it actually was Versus what was attacking it so you would lose. I don't know how many Venators I lost in those fights It was pretty horrible anywho Ready for action. Anywho upgrade in progress. Let's do a couple of our upgrades. We do have plenty of resources. Cruiser, Let's grab the entire by. fleet Cruisers standing Up by you. go ahead come about come aboot Cruiser. And prepare to defend the Golan platforms. We're going to hold. Oops. I, I just don't like these as a replacement. Not those. All of you should be heading back. All ships report here. I do not like E-Wings as a replacement to the X-Wing. I just think it's goofy. The X-Wing is such a cooler looking fighter. Engage, engage. X-Wing squadrons, keep them off us while we fall back. Ready the ion cannon. Give them the good news. That's right. You just stay right there. Let's let's split up your fleet a bit. Alright, intercept them. And engage. Like, isn't that just a cooler fighter? It's more iconic, too. What do we got? Oh, man. We're just going to keep popping these guys. Ion Cannon will be operational in a second. That way we'll be able to... Oh, you just completely stopped. You know what I kind of want to do? And I'm going to do it anyways. Since we use the Ion Cannon on that Star Destroyer, I'm going to bring this fighter group around and engage that. Come on, take it down. There you go. Switch shields to double front. You're going through the asteroids. 
How have we not had a Star Wars MMO where I can lead like a battalion? Last night we were playing Planet, uh, Planet Side 2 as a community, and I didn't stream it. It was just people on Discord having a good time, and I ran a platoon for like, I don't know, three hours, four hours. We had such a blast. Such a blast. Just having a good, like, we, we, maybe we weren't winning every battle, but God, we were having fun. I think we did pretty well. Take it down. But I'm like, look at this. We had this huge armored convoy. And then you look at Empire War and you're like, how do we not have a planet side version of Star Wars? How good would that be? Battlefront does not count, by the way. All right, take out the tractor beam and then we're gonna target, actually target the hangar. Ion cannons ready. Let's wait till he's in range of the Golan platforms and the rest of the fleet. Move the fleet back a little bit more. Okay, the Y-Wing should not be dogfighting anything. Let's, let's not that, let that happen. All right, are you in range? You're almost in range. X-Wings, get the job done. Look at these fighters. You're in range. All right, give him the good news. Turn the fleet around and engage. Take out the support fleet. That needs to be our primary target. Take out all supporting vessels. So the next Stellaris campaign, I am toying with the idea. Oh, you fighters are just getting work done back there. Without support, a Star Destroyer is so weak. Uh, but the next Stellaris campaign, I'm toying with the idea of kind of doing a, a dark side campaign and leading the, a very like, an empire that's based on the Galactic Empire. You know, ruling with an iron fist to bring peace to the galaxy. And there is a mod that adds all of the Star Wars Imperial ships to the game. It's probably gonna be a shorter campaign. I'll probably only do like 400 stars if I do do it this way. Have you taken them out? Oh, they've lost control. They're going into the asteroid belt. Break free, break free. They're gonna explode. How is he going into the asteroid? Anyways, all fighters engage. Let's chase them down. Destroy them. Oh, he's not getting away. So that's kind of one of the things that I'm thinking about. Like a, a much darker empire than the Alliance, but doing a smaller star system because then I can switch over to like a, a very uh, science focused, maybe Star Trek-esque empire playthrough after that. Because there's another mod coming out and there's already one that has the, the Star Trek ship. So that could be really fun. So I just one of the things that I'm toying around with. The other thing, I wasn't sure if I was going to bring this up, and I'm curious what you guys think, so let me know in the comments below. But let's go ahead and get those reinforcements up there. I'm thinking about having, for people who want to, jumping back into Star Wars Galaxies and having part of my intros, like making a group in Star Wars Galaxies emulator, because the emulator is still running. Um, making, let's get Building some more defenses started. here, um, an Imperial faction a guild that's Empire, and then using shots from that with everybody in like Stormtrooper and officer uniforms for parts of the intros. Yeah, I think that could be just ridiculous and really awesome. Uh, let's go ahead, I, I'm gonna combine you with the main fleet for no now, because we're all gonna go strike this planet. This is one big fleet. Who's gonna take the lead on this one? I'm thinking home one, you should take the lead. And that way I can choose what I bring in, and then we'll do the ground invasion. Let's move out. Tactical battle imminent. Oh. See, this is why I brought in the big fleet. None of the new ships, though. I don't have a lot of big ships in this fleet. This is mostly ground troops. Oh, sweet babies. What have I done? Well, I put Akbar in command, so I will be able to choose, pick and choose what comes in, so I don't have like a bunch of shuttlecraft show up and Ground op vehicles pop in. Coming out of hyperspace. Oh, sweet googly moogly. I need command. I need, I need view. I need vision. Give me vision. I don't know if we can do this. What? Oh god, they've got an ion cannon. That wasn't an ion cannon. That was like a particle accelerator or something. Look at my... Oh, oh shit, we gotta go. We gotta, what? This fleet is huge. I am not prepared, ill-prepared. All ships, fall back. Retreat, Prepare retreat. To hyperspace. Oh, Akbar, I hope you make it out seven seconds. 
They're not engaging. Five, four, three. Oh, what have we run into? Have you lost your engines? <gasps> Admiral Akbar has been captured by the rep No! Oh my god! I didn't know! I didn't know! I mean, I knew they had a lot of stuff there, but there was no... Ah. Oh. And you guys were just telling me in the last episode, Shaq, you're losing heroes for stupid reasons. Epic stupid reason. All right. Well, the fleet has made it to the other side. We're going back in there, and we're going to see if we can do some damage. But this time, we're going in there with the fighter fleet. Can I just move a whole stack? Damn, no, I can't. Oh, sweet babies. This is going to take a while. Yeah, we're going to go in there with the fighter fleet. Whoop, nope. And we're gonna see if we can just do some damage to the fleet. I don't think we have a hope in hell of actually you know, breaking anything, but at least they won't be able to hit us with that uber ion cannon. Uh, I'm not, sh not sure if 10 squadrons is gonna be enough of each of these. We may need more. Damn, now we know what they've got there. What do we got? Planetary battle for Levy and two. This is the first time they've ever tried to invade one of our planets. Uh, no, it's this one here. They have been blockading it. Interesting. Interesting units they've got. All right, begin the battle. Let's see if we can hold it. We do have some ground troops on there. An inhospitable rocky world used by the New Republic as a military base. Well, we're trying to use it as a military base. We may not be holding it much longer. Yes. Let's pause it and take a look around the map real quick. Okay, we have... I'm not sure if that's a walking path or not. No, I don't think it is because I have infantry here, selected sir. right now. So we've got one one pass? Yeah, looks like one, maybe, no, one pass. One pass right here. And if I had artillery, I'd place it like right back here. It'd be perfect. We've got some armor. We don't have much here. This is gonna hurt. We don't have much of a production facility. Right, we don't have a lot of free units. On our way, All right, sir. let's unpause it. All right, boys, you ready to go? Let's do this. Heading all units report to the northern lead. section. We and do have turbo laser towers there. So right. just Got it. Base shield up. basically hide underneath the guns and hope that you can hold. Moving out. D2B over. On it, As I understand it, this is the best defense we've got. So Heading you guys out. deploy there. Your squad's yes, there. Sir. Armor is moving up. We've got Plex soldiers. We've got our missile soldiers. We do have a base shield here, but upgrade in progress. I didn't buy any other buildings on this planet. When they were blockading it, you think I would have? Waiting instruction. Roger that. Right Come away. over here. Let's get these defenses online. G2B, upgrade copy. Complete. We got to keep those turbo laser Orders. towers alive. That's gonna be the trick. Form up. Turret Waiting orders. We've Moving secured ahead. a build pad. Heading out, sir. Upgrade. The off chance. Look, they've captured this so far. The Empire is on the way. Yeah, let's go dual AA. What do we got? Stormtroopers. Coming in from the south. Is this a pass? No, they have to come all the way north. Damn! What are you carrying? E-Web crew. We cannot let those fire. I copy. At the turbo laser towers. I copy. I'm not sure what's good at killing those guys. That sucked though. We've got a good line of sight. Can you kill that? There's like a gunship just sitting above our base. That's really weird. It's just chilling above the base. I can't target him. Oh boy. Incoming! Alright, you're able to kill them before they deploy. Excellent. Let's move out. Yeah, they one-shot at a turbo laser tower with one of those things. Armor standing by. All right, let's do a scout Armor group. Ready. Nope, Cold fall back. Blind. Turbo laser towers, open up on them. Min, you will hold the line. FCOM will hold. What do we got? Minor damage to the turbo laser tower. Yes, sir. I feel like ready I should move you guys a little bit farther this south way. so you can fire earlier. Roger that. Ready to roll. All right, light scout group. Let's check it out. Adjusting Nava computer. So they've got two drop points. I've got Artillery, tonight. don't stop moving. Destroy. Get into range. Advance. 
Into the line, into the line. Couldn't be better for, for light scouts to, to locate. Freaking artillery walkers. I love how they deploy. Target down. Well done. Avoid those tornadoes. And let's see if we can find something else. Whoa. No, 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 no. The dead stormtroopers? Probably from the tornadoes? <laughs> that looks like a crate dragon skull. They're retreating. Wow, they were really banking on that artillery to save them, weren't they? I can't believe I lost Akbar. That's gonna bug me. That's gonna bother me. All right, well now I've, I've learned my lesson. We need to get more ground Constructing. defenses operational. Building started. Training troops. Recruiting troops. And oh, we have to take this planet. I did not expect this to be such a pain in the ass to take. Because now they've got free reign to jump into New Republic space and start wrecking everything. Wow, we haven't Beginning upgraded you at all. Let's go ahead and start getting some Building started. buildings on there. Okay, all right, this is an Imperial Remnant planet. We need to break through it. We could bring in Wedge. Let's bring in the Fighter Squadron first. Let me know if there's a faster way of doing this, if there's like a macro or something Star that I can kick. Uh, and Quasar is backing them up. I just want to see how much damage we can do with 30 fighters. Let's do it. They're all so quick enough to get out of there. Oh, I should have put somebody in command. Damn, because it's going to bring the Quasars in, and they're going to die to that cannon on the surface. The Quasars are just there to carry in the fighters anyways, but still. This may have just gotten a lot harder. If we could break this planet, even if it means, like, pecking them to death with a few fighters to lower their numbers. Yeah, the three Quasars did show up. Look at all those fighters. Oh, this is gonna be great. All right. There goes the first blast. Is it enough to just destroy one? Yes, it is, but it's gonna be on the recharge now. Why are you guys listed like that? That's really strange. You guys are group two. Bombers are group three. You're group four. What can we take out? I'd love to take out. Who is this? Dala. In command of that monster. An Imperial Admiral who, after the final death of the Palpatine, worked to unite the Empire. She achieved this with the... With the murders of... Yeah, I can't get it because the fighters keep flying away. Uh, okay, fine. Group of warlords, along with Galad Palion, work to rebuild the Empire. In space, she commands the Night Hammer, Era 4. The Gorgon, Era 4. For reunification and the uh, Sikala era five. So she actually got stronger than last. That's why this wasn't here last time. Is it going into the asteroid belt? Anyways, I think we can swing back here. Let's grab all fighters. Our shields won't last long in those asteroids. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're all fighters. You can maneuver around the asteroids. We're going to swing down here, try to take out this victory class. Maybe take out one of these Golan platforms uh, and work our way toward... Hell, if we could even take out the space station, it wouldn't hurt. Oh, shit. All right. We got to go. Take on your engines. I love that they have faster engines. This could be perfect. This could be the distraction we need. So we've got rogue ships that have just entered the sector. And we're maneuverable, maneuverable enough to get out of the way. Ready for command. You calling for me, sir? Break, 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 break. All right, we're getting out of the way. -wing squadron reporting. Look at the fighter wing, how huge it is. So we're gonna hide out in the asteroid belt. Bye, Y wings. <laughs> you guys are a little slow. Uh, until this battle begins. I mean, it's not much. They only brought in a single ascendancy star destroyer but it's enough for us to rush in and kill maybe a Golan platform, maybe even the Starbase, before the main fleet arrives. What's it firing at? Oh, shit, there goes our distraction. Coordinates received. All right, I'm giving the order to engage the, the Starbase. Look at their, 
Oh, I like that that little cruiser. That looks like something. That looks like one of my first ships in Space Engineers that I built. <laughs> Alright, fighters, you have your orders. move you out Preparing for combat. we're going to engage the golan platforms you're all gonna go in as a big fat group aren't you all right just break it engage all squadrons lock s foils in an attack position Roger that. we're going in shields double front and watch that crossfire <laughs> Ah, uh, they're going in. Look at those shields just melt. Republic fighters, man. They're just... They're just so good. X-Wings, break and engage the TIE Defender Squadrons that are coming out. Let's keep those fighters alive. There's no reason we should be losing anybody in this fight. They don't have the weapons to take us down here. How is he still alive? I've got 20-something X-Wings chasing him. There you go. There you go. Has he begun? Is he engaged? He is engaged. We're not going to take out that Star Destroyer, but what we can do is bring the rest of the fleet in and take out some of the support ships. All right, X Wings. Oh, God. Y Wings, what are you doing? You need to go faster, X Wings. You need to go much faster. You've got to break through and engage. Look at that massive crossfire. You have your orders. Alright, bombers are in range of the targets. E-wings, break this carrier for us. Every kill we get here will make it better for the rest of the fleet. Come on, you've got this. Shield generator is down. It's the Quasars. Come on, X-Wings. Clear them out. Clear them out. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do this, but... Come on, you haven't killed the carrier yet. Have you? Give me, like, two torpedoes right here. I can't even click it. There's so many fighters in the way. Come on. You've almost got it. Take out. What? What? What do you mean we've been defeated? These are paid for fighters with hyperspace drives. Huh. Today is just not my day. Oh, that's a bug. I got the Golan platform and the escort carrier, but we lost 30 fighters because of what? We lost the Quasars? We, ah. Uh, I guess all fighters are set to, if they're not in the field, they don't matter? I don't understand that, but okay. All Rebel fighters, or all New Republic fighters, excuse me, have hyperdrives. They can fight on their Star own. They don't need support in. ships. All right, we're, we're done. We're done dicking around with these guys. Give me the main fleet. Understood. We're done messing around. Give me the new, the new hotness. Give me the new uh, fleet. Construction complete. We're going in and we're gonna break people's faces. I'm gonna give somebody command. It's gonna be wedge. This is gonna be one big ass battle. Let's do this. Acknowledged. We will win this day. Now they have the advantage. They have the immediate advantage. I'm curious how much damage they're actually going to be able to do to us with that cannon of theirs. Our cannon will take out subsystems uh, temporarily. It'll take out, it'll lower the enemy fire rate. It'll also disable their shield. The it's the ion cannon. Spotted. He's going to take up the brunt of the hit at the very beginning. There it is. How's the damage? Damage is minimal. Minimal. Right Give me a Star Destroyer. Yes, we're breaking in the heroes. It's it's time to bring in the fight. What is this? I'm not really sure what that is. Really strange, though. Order 
Confirmed. What is going on up here at the top? Coming around. I think we broke it. Reinforcements. <laughs> Ready for your orders. All ships. Order? Prepare to engage. Let's move forward. Yes, Commander. I'm here. Move the fleet in range and open fire. What are you doing, Wedge? Luckily for us, they seem to be coming toward us, even if you're moving away yes, from them. I will try. I've given the order to engage. They're like trying to fly in formation, but they're too huge. To make it happen, or so it seems. And then I've got like rubber banding Bomb. fighters moving around. No, 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 no. Why wings don't go in all by themselves? Standing by. I like where your head's at, but let's not do that. We'll take in a bunch of A-wings. We'll start popping fighters that get too far away. Bring in a few more Mon Cal ships as we get closer. I want to bring in one of these new capital class vessels, but I don't want to jump within firing range of them. All right, A-wings. Interceptors, get up here. There you are. Break and engage, break and engage. All right, we're in firing range. Both ships are firing. Time to get a little bit heavier firepower. Oh, and he's turning around. The least amount of weapons that he has are right back there. Let's bring in some of those new ships right into the middle of the fray. Also, a good time to bring in a bunch of dreadnoughts. Max cap? What? All ships engage. Take it down. Ready for your orders. Ties squadron. Dead. Dispatch your ties. Copy. Fire at will. Keep them off you. Bombers I don't want you getting pecked at by bombers this entire time. Oh, talk about bad positioning on their part. All right, where's the rest of our bombers? I gave the order. All ships engage. That does mean all ships engage. Everything you got, he's coming around. He's about to put. Look at these two broadsiding each other. If I could get the the zoom to go. Oh, the battle is so big I can't even see it. Let me. Grab somebody a little bit smaller. You're not willing to see the battle. Look at this firefight. Oh, Wedge, what are you doing? You've turned around. Oh, no. Oh, no. The reinforcement thing is broken. I can't pick anybody. I mean, we're... Oh, God. Don't, don't go in. Don't go in. Come about. Run to the north. Run to the north. Run. Run. Run, Luke. Run. You come about as well. Our primary support ship has decided to turn around. Ah, shit. At least our fighters are getting work done. A-wings. You should be targeting the interceptors and taking them down. Yeah, we've got too many vehicles in this fleet. It's bugging it out, but it doesn't seem to be stopping our ability to fight this... Fight. We're about to take down the shield generator. Come on, come on. What is their support fleet doing? The AI is derpy sometimes. They're just sitting down there. Like waiting for an invitation. While our while Wedge is just like, I think I'll be up here. I didn't actually want to engage the enemy ship. Oh, we're starting to get closer to and closer to there. Oh, shit. We're starting to get closer and closer to their actual support fleet, which isn't good. And you should not be separated from the fleet. Come around. Report back here. All right. You don't have any abilities? But you're still pretty cool. How we doing? We're starting to do damage. But they're starting to engage us. Their actual fighters are engaging us now. This could be bad. You could get into this fight any minute now. I, that would not go amiss. Support fleet move in. Extra firepower. Continue to engage. Keep your weapons in range. Yeah, things, things are getting real bad in that field of fighters. I don't care what it takes. She dies here. All right, fly over here and get out of the fight. You come actually into the fight. Swing around to the back end. All fighters move here. What is this mess? The 
few combat capable vessels that we have. Oh, hello. Can we bring in reinforcements yet? We can. We're gonna wait until we can bring in another one of these Mon Cow ships. We need seven. Come on, how's his health, how's his health? 25%. He's down 25%. All ships engage, that'll pull in the rest of the fighters. Except for we don't want you to engage. I want you to run back here. Way in the back. My senses are malfunctioning. I kind of need to distract them. And I don't like these ships anyway. So go, Majestics. Go and distract. You're going right into the middle of the fray. Okay, I want to see how long she lasts anyways. Oh, the shields did come up. Ready for your orders. Primary combat group. All right, we've got to take out the support fleet. We have no choice. We have to take out the support fleet. Focus your fire on the enemy support vessels. Bring in a couple more Mon Cal ships to back us up. A few dreadnoughts for the extra firepower. We've got to take out this fighter group that they've got. We need some support ships. A-wings, interceptors. Start targeting those enemy fighters. We've got to start taking them down. Bombers, keep attacking. Are you gonna come within range? No, Wedge is gonna sit back there. Move up, Wedge. Yeah, no reason to use the gravity well generator. If anything, we want them to retreat. Alright, here's what we need. Anti-fighter support coming in now. Our fighters are continuing to harass the main ship. Keep hitting them, keep hitting them. That Super Star Destroyer needs to go. Uh, ion cannons, yes! He's slowly coming within range. Excellent. Excellent. God, there's so many support vessels back there. We're not pushing through, we still haven't broken through. Are you guys able to take these fighters down? Like, I want you both to fight your, focus all your fire on a single interceptor group. There we go. More coming in for backup. Maybe a lightly armed marauder ship in the back. Yes, you're in range. Excellent. I want you to target that Super Star Destroyer and take it down. Take out their bombers while you're in the way. Okay, I mean, as long as the main fleet here can just keep, oh shit, run, run. You guys have done a great job, but I can't risk losing the entire anti-fighter fleet. Stop moving. Just stop moving. You've, you've turned around again. I give you an order to attack and he runs backwards. That seems to be what I'm running into here. Alright, support ships. I'm bringing in Nebulons. We're gonna bring in an entire fighter fleet. We need another buffer ship. We're gonna bring in an entire fighter fleet and we're going to engage that Super Star Destroyer. That's our objective. Take out the Super Star Destroyer. All fighters, all bombers. Except for you A-Wings. You A-Wings really need to be getting work done over there. Gravity well, just stay where you are. Shouldn't have brought you in. I regret that now. A-Wings, break and engage. Start taking out enemy fighters. You. There you go. Now you're getting it. Get out of range. Get out of range. Get out of range. We need more fighters, but I can't actually select the fighter squadrons. Gotta break up this force. Keep engaging. Tie Widers and X-Wings, break and engage. We're gonna bring in a battle group of Dreadnoughts. I know I'm hyperspacing within weapons range, which is a big mistake, but I don't have much of a choice. 
I need to get around that Star Destroyer support fleet to take this guy out. So this is what we've got. This is what we've got to work with. All vessels, open fire. How are you doing? Oh, you're moving into range now. Excellent. Well done. And the battle group to the north is still alive. All right, push forward. Push forward and engage. I can't select all right now because if I tell the ISD to do anything, it'll just run away again. All right, Nebulon Bs are moving in. I know, X-Wings, you're, you're doing what you can. We're slowly taking them out. You guys are still alive back here? You're making me proud. It's it's pretty fantastic. God, the enemy fighters are just so numerous. Can I get any of you survive? Nope, we didn't survive. Any of the support ships survived. Damn. He's starting to run out of fire range, which really isn't good, and he's also almost behind another Golan platform. But guess where he's running into? This. All right, you're in the perfect position. Stop moving, continue to fire. Yeah, and you're in range and you're firing. Beautiful, just beautiful. Overload your shields. Uh, what, what's our build cap at? 32 out of 40. We can bring in a couple of wings of B-wings and we can wreck this Star Destroyer. Time to avenge your buddies in that last attack on this sector. All right, fighter wings, engage, engage. How are we doing back there? Wedge is holding his own. He does have fighter support. The enemy ISD is almost dead. Man, this battle has been freaking epic. All right, you ships, hold position, take out this. We can win this battle out right now. I'm feeling good about this. Keep engaging those Star Destroyers. You can bring in more combat vessels. Probably should have finished this. How you doing back there? Shields are at 75%. Interceptors are doing their jobs. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Now I feel confident. Turn on the gravity well generator. How you doing? You almost got that killed? Good. Bring in some more firepower because I need you to move up to finish off that ISD. Right, we need we need firepower up there quickly. Ah, oh, they've got so much fighter power up here. This could be a huge problem for us. Our ability to take out these fighters is is minimal at best. We've almost got it, though. We've almost got it. All right, this battle group to the south. Oh, come on, let me box select. Battle group to the south. Start moving up. Oh, we got it! We got it! Take out, take out the star destroyers. Move up. You have your orders. How we hold now? We've lost shields and we're starting to take heavy damage. We need support vessels up here. We need people to take the take the brunt of this attack. We need you to die. Take out the fighter bays next. We might lose our Super Star Destroyer in this fight. Sad day for the Republic. Come on, boys. No, all fighters. Engage those enemy fighters. Where are you guys at? Where's that second battle group? I've got one chance here. We're gonna lose it. 20%. We're gonna lose it. We just got into range. We're just about to kill their... Oh, shit. There's no pulling him out of this. And we're still at build cap. I can't bring any reinforcements in. Come on, you've almost got those fighters down. Or those Star Destroyers down. Take him down, take him down. The Iron Cannons are offline. Oh man, it's most No, we're gonna lose Wedge! Oh Wedge is down. Wedge is down. We're still gonna win this battle, but Wedge has been destroyed. Our ace in the hall. Now we can bring in reinforcements, you don't say. 
All right, let's just win this outright. Give me three Quasars so we can get the fighters to back us up. Give me anybody who basically carries fighters. We have to take these fighters out. X-Wings, get up here. Our boys can take out the rest of them. Now we can bring in fighter squadrons. Uh, part of the loss here might have been due to bugs, but it was also just a massive battle. Overload your weapons and kill this fast. Now we're clearing them out. I can't believe we lost. That's let me zoom out. So, yeah, there she goes. Wedge is down. <laughs> well, there's no going back. I don't reload when I lose a battle. There's no going back. I don't know if we'll get Wedge back. Probably not. And there are other challenges out there that we're gonna have to just fight with normal fleets. It has been the saddest day for the Republic. Great victory to us. I mean, winning this sector is going to go huge toward the war effort. Ow! They're still hitting us with that damn cannon. Battle's over. As our superstar just like fades into the background. <laughs> Look at those losses. <gasps> oh, that was a thing. That was a thing. Whew. All right, let's take a look at the galactic map. So once we take this, I don't think we're gonna have an issue taking this on the ground. Um, we have our ground troops. Who are you? Leader of the rebellion, inspires strong morale boost when present in combat, all production costs down 25%. Whoa. Our, oh, we've got Luke too. We should probably move Luke to the front line. There were some claims, complaints about people saying, oh, Shaq, you know, you shouldn't be losing heroes. It's a war. We're going to fight it out. I don't reload. If we lose them, we lose them. I've had people that didn't listen to orders and didn't turn around. I've made stupid decisions that got certain heroes killed. That was a worthy battle to say we lost a Superstar Destroyer in, I think. That got really epic really fast. Um, all right, so let's grab up our ground troops and prepare for the ground invasion of this planet. I mean, that's really the only thing left we can do. Uh, we don't want to grab everybody up. I do want to grab the majority of you. Lando, just... Lando, you need to report to uh, the shipyards. Complete. I think that's the best way to do it. We'll leave one unit on the ground. Ground troops right move up. Lando, head over to the quad shipyards. Uh, Leia, same deal. I think you give us a resource yeah. bonus if you're in a certain area, so let's move you. Grab these ground troops and you out. Uh, Duro, just because I haven't ordered it up yet. I to tell you that the venture's too beat up to continue working for the Republic. He says that until you pay for the upgrades yourself, he's going to just go back to his old work. He also mentioned combat. something about making it red. If you want him back, you'd better set one of your capital shipyards to fix up the venture. Tactical battle imminent. What? Okay. I have to fix up the venture, apparently, and they're gonna paint it red. I don't, I don't know what the lore is there. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments below. Also, now that we've lost the Super Star Destroyer, Thrawn is making his move for Coruscant. What? What? Oops. What? Um, crap. We do have defenses there, but nothing really in orbit. I want to see what Thrawn is captaining. We're going to begin the battle and see what he's got. We may not fight it, though. This one's going to be a bit epic. Damn, Thrawn smells blood in the water, and he's coming to, to take territory while he has the chance. I built up the defenses here. We've got, what, one, two, three, four, golden, five golden platforms surrounding the... Ready. Fairly Upgrade upgraded starbase. We've also got an ion cannon, so we probably can, can do some serious damage. He, though, has brought in five heroes. Enemy unit sighted. A couple of star destroyers. I, I don't even know. Whoa, what in the world? Pause that for a second. 
Admiral Sayath in his capital ship. Admiral Sayath is one of the most decorated admirals of the Empire, the Hans Navy. Because of this, he was given command of the first Phalanx class battle hammer. The battle hammer. A Thrawn clone? Oh, Star Wars near clones. Near is fleet commander. Voss Peric. Uh, there's just good grief. So much going on here. All right, well, we need to slow him down. I think the best idea is to slow down the Star Destroyer first. Shit, his engines are still working. Okay. Well, the next Our blast is going after this thing. We've got it coming. All right, all fighters, rendezvous right here. Let's get everybody together. You're all interceptors, right? Go ahead and engage those fighters. Their fighters are so damn intense. Take them down, come on. Come on, there we go. It's a pain in the ass to kill their fighters. It takes like six X-Wigs to take them down with any speed, and then here comes... It's a different type of them now. Ion Cannon's still not up yet. It looks like the first ship that's going to be engaging us is gonna be this Victory class. Take out the enemy fighters. We're just gonna thin them out. Oh shit! All right, we've got rogue ships coming in from the rear. This could actually work out really well for us, at least for a little while, because uh, I don't think they're gonna get through. Iron Cannon should almost be operational. Let's get, how's the shield? It's starting to fail. All fighters, get up here. Get up here and engage. All right, their shields are down. Take out the victory class. That should be the easiest kill for us. Where are fight our bombers? Bombers break, 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 break. Break and engage, you have your orders. I don't expect that first goal on platform. Yes, they're gonna come up behind. The rebel or the rogue ships, the pirate ships, are gonna be coming in behind the enemy. Let's focus fire, come on, we can kill this. Kill this guy before he gets out of range. All right, my fighters managed to get their work done. Let's go in. Let's go in and break some stuff. And their weapons are in range now. Good, good, good. Now I'm hoping they actually take care of those. Damn, they've already taken out the shields on two of my larger, on one of my larger golem platforms. We need to take these guys down now. Are there any other upgrades we can do? Nope. All right, who is this, Thrawn clone? Admiral Sayeth, take out Admiral Sayeth. That wasn't a gravity control generator, but Emperor of the Hand's fleet has turned around and they're engaging the victories that just came in. Well, let's give those pirates some help. Let's give them a hand. Because we're going to be a deep shit if they push all the way through. We need these pirates to die before they come within range, or we're going to be fighting their Star Destroyer shortly. Yes, sir. Uh, who do we want to fire this at? Uh, we'll wait, actually. We'll wait and see who survives. We've almost got... Take out their hangar bay before we have to deal with more of those damn fighters today. Oh! They've changed course and they're actually engaging... I actually, I love this mechanic. It's so random. It, it just kind of like, you never know what exactly to expect. All right, let's shoot the ion cannon so it starts recharging. Go after him. It's gonna be a big loss for them. Casualties on both sides are getting ridiculous. How many heroes did they just lose in this battle? They brought nothing but heroes in. Target his engines, let's make sure he doesn't get away. And then my platforms are just like, all right, time to delete you from the game. Time to delete you from the universe. Go for the shield generator. Begin your attack run. Why wing squadron reporting? 
Damaged. Get the job done, boys. Get the job done. And no, they're not. They waited way too long for that. There's the victory. The battle for Coruscant. Like the fifth battle for Coruscant. I don't know. Coruscant's been fought over so many times. We lost a single goal on platform. Totally worth it. We need to bring reinforcements to Coruscant, though. There's no, there is no time that Coruscant should be under assault without any backup in orbit. So that's got to be solved. But I'm curious what you guys think about this episode. For those people who are like, Shaq, you're losing heroes for no good reason. You can't say that wasn't an epic battle where we lost that Superstar Destroyer. And I don't reload when I, when I have my losses. That was still a victory for us, though. A costly one. Um, I really enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And where should we move next? We could... We're gonna probably invade Packrick Minor. We need to take this. But from where where do we go there? We have multiple options. So we keep fighting the Imperial Remnant. Do we go after the Empire of the Hand now that they've used up this big fleet that they had and lost all those heroes? I mean, there's not very much in the way of defenses on this planet, I doubt. Unless there's a fleet just sitting there that they didn't bring in, but who knows? Who knows? I mean, there's so many more planets back here to fight over. All right, guys, I will see you in the next episode of Thrawn's Revenge. Later, everybody.